Hello friends. Today I would like to show you what does it mean for a dwarf plants to be stable or unstable and what can be done about the unstable ones. So let me find one. Okay, here is a very dwarf adenium, desert rose. Because it grows slowly, I grafted it on a regular, otherwise it would not have a trunk. It's very stable. All the leaves are small. There is no... Well, look. Let me break this. You see the comparison? How much smaller? There is no mutation where suddenly one twig would be having regular size leaves. If it'll be unstable, all we would have to do is periodically go and clip off the branch that starts to grow back big leaves. But we don't need to do it with this cultivar because it's stable. Here is a slightly bigger leaves and slightly more curly desert rose. Again, same thing. Or here, you can see not grafted. Adenium that's dwarf. But here we have adenium where some twigs are dwarf and some semi dwarf. So all I would have to do is cut the semi dwarf off if I wanna maintain the dwarf plant. Otherwise, the ones with bigger leaves would grow faster because they do more photosynthesis and the ones with smaller leaves would gradually die off in a shade of it. Okay, let me show you one more example, not from a denium, desert rose, but from a fruit tree, tropical berry called Suriname cherry. These are the regular size leaves of Suriname cherry. Let me break a twig to show you in comparison how small are the dwarf ones. Okay, dwarf ones are very, very small. This plant, this uh, berry, the Suriname cherry, is very stable. In other words, it does not have a fast-growing big twigs, even though here and there grows much bigger leaf here and here. But for some reason, these uncommon twigs, the twigs that have a regular size leaves, grow very, very slowly. They do not take over. So even though I could cut the twig out, if I don't, nothing bad happen. This is unusual for this uh, occurrence where you have unstable plant where it some twigs go back to the original that the original ones are very slowly growing you don't need to do nothing about it usually it's the other way around that you do have to okay that con this concludes the very short video about what means stable or unstable dwarf plants. 
and what we can do to don't lose the dwarf plants if they're unstable. And that's it, my friends. Goodbye. See you later. Alligators. If you didn't subscribe yet, please do. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up so I know that you like it. And if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. Write them under the video. I answer pretty much every comment. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't want to type under, that means you are not subscribed to the YouTube. You have to first subscribe to YouTube. Then it'll work even if you don't subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.